Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be making our way over to the Artist Shack. But before we do, I want to talk about everything that I did off camera, and to start off, I did go ahead and buy myself a hundred arrows from the merchant over by the seaside cave. I also ended up buying all of the stuff from Kale and the merchant over there where I bought the arrows. And yeah, that's pretty much all I did. The only other thing I did was I farmed up 69,000 runes. And how I did that is I went over here and killed the troll. Then I came back over to the church of Ella and I ran down this path, killing everything down this path, clearing out the gate front runes, resting at this grace, and then coming right up here. And there's three Caden riders that you can kill over here. And then I cleared out this camp. I made sure that I didn't get the item in this camp, but I did clear it out. And I just kept doing that over and over and over again until I got about 69,000 runes and then some so that I could buy some extra stuff as well. You don't have to do that. I just love to grind out levels or runes or souls depending on what game I'm playing. I don't know. I find it very enjoyable to just kind of numb everything out and grind some stuff okay now that we got all of that out of the way let's go ahead and rest at the grace and put some levels in so real quick i got enough to put our vigor up to 20 our endurance up to 20 our strength and dex up to 20. Now that we have all those up to 20, I'm going to start working on Mind, Faith, and Arcane. Okay? Before we get started here, let's go to our map. Make this a little easier on everybody. We're going to come over here. Grab an item from right there. Grab an item from right here. Head over to the Dragon Burnt Runes. I accidentally got the marker for this. So I apologize to anybody that may not have that marker. And then over here we should have a grace. And then after that grace, we'll end up coming all the way down here and getting ourselves another item. So let's go ahead and hop on Torrent. We're going to hold X. Press up on our D-pad depending on uh, what you switch the spectral steed uh, whistle to. So right here, you can fight these bats if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm going to run past them. Oh my goodness. Those animals were in my way. Just kind of follow the cliff side here. We're going to come up right here. Be really careful. Every now and then, some bats will roll up on you. Try to kill you. Grab this smithing stone. Get rid of that marker. Come up over here. And then we're going to come over to this... Uh, I was about to say the seaside ruins... But the dragon burnt runes. Be careful, we have a ton of dogs over here. The hollow guys aren't a big deal, but the dogs are. There's a bigger dog right over here. If I can lock on to him, that is. Be careful not to go too far over there. You will activate the dragon boss fight. And that is no fun. Well, I mean, it's fun. It's just not fun right now because we're 
kind of a lower level. We're going to need to be a little stronger before we take on that dragon. So down here, we want to be careful. There are a ton of rats. I'm just going to add a sprint. Oh, he dodged my shit. Okay, if that happens, just kind of back up into this tunnel. Or this archway, whatever you want to call it. Kind of funnel them through there. Makes things a little easier. Ouch. As I say that, and I, I'm getting my ass kicked by a bunch of rats. Go ahead and get a flask back. So we're going to open up this door right here. Do not open up this chest. This chest is going to be a trap chest. And it will tell you teleport you over to Kalid and you won't be able to get out of there until you get all the way to the, to the grace in the dungeon that it sends you to and then make your way out to the entrance and you'll be able to teleport back over here so don't open up that chest whatever you do let's go up here grab this item get ourselves a golden rune too should be a rat right here. Get ourselves a stone sword key. Be careful for the dog. Should be another one somewhere around here. Yep, there he is. There's a ton of dogs over here. So right here on the right side, we have a wall. We won't be able to get over that without getting on Torrent. So hop on Torrent and just jump over this wall. We're going to come down over here. This chest you can open up. We're actually going to get the tin twin blade, not the tin blade, <laughs> the twin blade uh, from this chest. Pretty cool dex weapon. If you have another friend that's um, playing alongside you, you can get them to drop you two twin blades. That way you can dual wield them. Pretty fun to do that. Up here we see a bunch of bats eating something. Along with that uh, glowing skull to get some golden runes from. Just go ahead and grab this item. Try not to get hit by the bats. There's a grace right there. We're not going to worry about that grace just yet. We're actually going to run over here around this rune. We're going to run up to the top here and then jump the gap. Hop off torrent for a second. Get ourselves a slumbering egg our first slumbering egg we've gotten. Let's go ahead and talk to this NPC. This is Yura. Ah. You must be the new Tarnished. You do well to steer clear of a gill like fledgling. A dragon roosts there. And it's as fearsome. As it is majestic. So, unless you're mad, or wish to be burned alive, stay clear of the lake. Now let's go ahead and light this grace and rest at it. We can hop on Torrent once again. If we come right here to where this edge is, just right here, we can fall down and we will hit a spirit spring that will break our fall. So in the last video, I was talking about spirit springs and how you could fall down on them to break your fall. Well, this is where you can.
We want to hop off Torrent. Be very careful with this guy. He can hurt. For killing him, we get the Ash of War Gravitas. Pretty cool Ash of War. I just don't use it. I don't find a real practical use for it, so I never end up putting it on. But it looks really cool. If you want to use it and just try it out for a little bit, it looks really cool. Right here, we're going to get a lump of flesh. We're not going to mess with that crab. We're going to let that crab live its best crab life. And we're going to continue on. I'm going to pull out my torch. And right here, we have a cave. Hop off torrent real quick. We're going to come through this cave and go ahead and grab ourselves the Helig Drake Talisman. And if we hop down, we can see that we're in the stranded graveyard again. This is where we first started the game after dying to the first boss. This is Tutorial Cave. And then that's where we went to get up to Limgrave for the first time. So let's go ahead and take our torch off. And then we're going to fast travel over there in just a second. But first I want to put a few more markers down. We're going to put one marker down there. And then a marker right there. A marker right there and then I think we can put one more down which will be right there oh I don't know why I got out of the map sorry let's go ahead and fast travel to the seaside ruins I'll see everybody over there we're gonna hop on Torrent again we're gonna follow the cliff edge here And ride down this way. Be careful of all the demi humans. If you want, you can kill them all. I'm not going to bother. Grab some crab eggs. Not really worth uh, getting. In my opinion, that is. Maybe uh, it's worth getting the crab eggs for you. Just going to keep coming along this side. We're going to go down the path here first, and then we're going to turn around and go up on the upper path. Be careful. Those trees are demi-human. Uh, I guess illusions? Disguises? I don't know. They look like the same trees as what Bach was when we first met him. And then we're going to come up to the top here. By the way, if you don't want to go down there to grab uh, the three rune fragments, uh, I wouldn't bother. To me, it is just a pitiful reason to go down there. Get the large club. Turn around and uh, just backtrack a little bit. Just follow this cliffside. Before we go get that grace, we're going to come up right here. Grab ourselves a golden rune too. And then we can hop off torrent. Light this grace. Grab ourselves some mushrooms and get rid of this waypoint or marker. And then over there where you see this um, little structure there, like this tent, we're going to grab ourselves an item sliver of meat there let's 
So real quick, if you hold R2, you can hold your weapon down. And even though that it's still down, if you come by an enemy, you'll still hurt it. And depending on if you hold R2 or L2 is which side you're going to hold your weapon down on. So we have a scarab just over there. And if we hold R2, we can take that scarab out. There we go. Be careful, there's going to be a bunch of crabs that pop out. Grab these crab eggs real quick and just run away. Be careful of the uh, Caden Rider. We're gonna come over here. Sorry about the uh, long pause over there, by the way, whenever I was explaining the whole R2 um, on Torrent thing. I had a phone call, so I had to <laughs> tell them I would call call them back real quick. So I apologize. It's unexpected. And come up over here. We can two hand our weapon. Take these guys out real quick. Not very hard to get through this camp, but it can be if you're not careful. We're going to come up over here, hop down these rocks. Get ourselves a golden rune one. Num num, get you some. Hardly seems worth it for a golden rune one, but it all adds up, especially like if you're trying to buy certain items from a merchant. You can just use a bunch of golden rune ones. Right here is our first starlight shard. This will refill your mana or your FP as it's uh, called here in Elden Ring, but I wouldn't use them. You can give them to an NPC later on into the game and get some spells. So hang on to the Starlight Shards. We're gonna jump across here. We're gonna crouch and take out this enemy right here. These enemies are assholes. <laughs> want to take the two um, mages out first so they're not shooting glintstone pebbles at you as you're trying to take out the, the uh, camp. Right here is the royal house scroll. That's why we came over here. We needed that scroll. We still have another guy over there which we'll worry about later in just a moment first we want to hop up here we're gonna crouch and then if you're really careful can come along here sneak up behind this guy we'll worry about looting him in just a moment we want to clear out the camp first Thankfully, there's no dogs in this camp, so it doesn't make it that difficult. Just a ton of Godric soldiers and a couple of Caden uh, warriors. Get ourselves another golden rune one. We 
we have another Caden Warrior that we can get the attention of. Just bring him over here. We don't want to fight the uh, Rider and um, the Warrior at the same time. It's just going to be a little more difficult than necessary. But we can run. Get a jumping R2. Then boom. All done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you're having a lot of trouble clearing out this camp, you can summon in your um, your spirit ashes as well. We're going to get the great epi from this chest. And then, yeah, we cleared out everything over here. Real quick, we're going to hop on Torn again. Instead of going down the road here, we're actually going to come up to the right. We want to go over by the graves here. Grab ourselves some runes. So we get a golden rune 3, golden rune 1, golden rune 2, another golden rune 1. And then another golden rune one. Now be careful. There are wolves over here. They're not that dangerous. But they can be in a big group. We're going to come over here. Eventually we're going to go take out those guys. But first we're going to hop on down here. Grab ourselves some smoldering butterflies. Be careful. You want to take out these Godric soldiers first. They're the real danger. Besides one Caden warrior that's going to be rolling up on us here soon. He's just on the other side. Let's see. Woo. That was dangerous. Don't be like me, folks. Stop locking on to other guys. Take this guy out, because he's just annoying. Might as well top us top ourselves off even though we don't have to we're just gonna get um, some flasks back anyways Lord Sworn straight sword I actually have two Lord Sworn straight swords that I have uh, plus three the only reason I did that is because I had all those um, smithing stones and I just wanted to use them up Also, I just remembered I switched out my shield. So yeah, I'm using the um, Godric Soldier's uh, shield. It's actually pretty decent. Not too bad. Real quick, we're going to take out this Caden Rider and then we're going to take out the two trolls. They're really not that hard. They look very intimidating. You're like, oh man, I got to fight two trolls. It's not that bad. Get some sweet uh, raisin. Sweet raisins. The only thing you want to worry about is when he stomps. Go ahead and... Get that visceral or repost. Knock him down again with two charged R2s. Then he's dead. Now, my advice instead of hitting his right leg, hit his left leg. Just easier to dodge that. I hate when I get stuck underneath them. And then we have another Caden Rider that's rolling up on us. 
It's not really ideal right now. Oh, he turned around. Awesome. There we go. So yeah, be careful. Try not to get the attention of that other Caden rider there. We can go to the back. Open up this chest. And we're going to get ourselves the Great Axe. So right here, if we ride off just over here into the distance, we can get ourselves a Sombering Smithing Stone. One. Grab ourselves a golden ruin from that uh, skull. And then right here, we have another summoning, uh, another summoning pool that we can activate. Words, man. Words. Oh, perfect. Yes. Do that. Be careful. He's or she or it <laughs> the flower is going to spew out a bunch of poison if you let it but if you get two or not two three charged r2s you can get a repost on it Whenever it does that, run back. Just so it, it's got a weird tracking on it. I like to just run back and then um, let it do its thing and then run up to it and get uh, three charge R2s. So we grab a golden ruin, some poison bloom, and then Miranda powder, and an immunizer. Immun oh my goodness, immunizing cured meat. Words I cannot speak today. I don't think I can ever speak. I'm always fumbling over my uh, words. All right, we're going to come up here. Keep climbing up these runes. And then right here, we can look down and we see an item. If we just run off right here, or walk off, don't run off, we can get ourselves a Trina's Lily. It's up to you if you want to get the Trina's Lily or not. It's not really that important. If we come down here, we can see that there's a catacomb or a tomb. As soon as we... Let's go ahead and top ourselves off real quick. As soon as we come through this door, we want to pull our wolves out. This is going to be Pumpkin Head. Not really a hard fight. But he will be if you don't pull out your wolves in time and he smacks you. go pretty easy not a hard fight at all we're gonna touch this grace I'm not even gonna bother resting at this grace because we have three flasks still right here is Selen let's go ahead and talk to her tarnished are we no wonder you should turn up here I am Selen a sorcerer quite plainly why are you here Ah, a yen for glimstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature, with a bit of luck. 
But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glinstone's sorcery. But I refuse to coddle. Or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. So we can give her a, the scroll that we picked up earlier, but we're not going to. We're actually going to give that to another NPC. For now, let's go ahead and look at some of the sorcery she can teach us. If you are playing as a sorcerer, this is a good start for your class. At least uh, to grab some new sorceries, that is. We're not, so we're not even going to bother. Let's go ahead and leave. She's going to give us the nod and thought gesture. If you need to rest at the grace, go ahead. Just know that everything is going to be... Um, resummoned or revived, whatever you want to call it. So real quick, we're going to hop on Torrent. Instead of going down to that path, we're going to come up over here. Grab ourselves a golden pickled fowl foot. So in the last video, I said, oh, that's going to up your item discovery. It does not. <laughs> it upgrades or upgrades. It ups your ruin uh, recovery rate. So every time you kill an enemy, you're going to gain more runes um, by using that gold fouled or gold fouled foot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember the name of the item. Oh, well. Golden pickled foul foot. That's what it is. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. I want to show everybody something real quick. This is a Crimson Scarab. If you kill it, you'll get yourself some Crimson Flasks back. There's the Crimson Scarabs and there's the Cerulean Scarabs. The Cerulean give you a uh, Cerulean Flask back and the Crimson, the Crimson Flasks. Right here we have another Scarab. Be very careful. That glow like that is there for a reason. It will explode. But we get a sombering smithing stone. We're going to come back down to this path here. Off to the left, we're going to see that there's the artist shack. We're going to go ahead and grab an item and examine that painting. And then go ahead and light the grace and end the video. So we get a smithing stone and then right here we get the homing instinct painting. And we will go back and get that eventually but it's not going to be right now. Right here let's light this grace. And then I think we'll end the video right about here. Looks really pretty seeing the minor Erd tree in the background. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.